Tell me how it makes you feel. It makes me feel sad. Yeah. Can I be scared? Yeah. I don't like it. I know. You're watching a video that has already been shared on Facebook you more than 10,000 times in less than 24 hours. Just tell me like you told me when you got home, Anna. How come, Pumpkin? <laughs> this third grade girl's brother has to describe what the bullying at school is like for his big sister as she cries her eyes out. <laughs> Guy named Jerome on the playground, he said, you're going to die by suicide. They called me a son of a bitch and a mother You tell her, you know, you're stronger than that. You're better than... It's okay. I know. Right. You tell them they're worth something because they feel like they're worth nothing. You know, and you... Tell them there's adults to help you, there's people to help you, the school will help you. But the Faustin superintendent says this just landed on his radar, despite these parents claim that they've been trying to get something done since December. I found out about the situation um, a couple days ago, and I think it could have been resolved uh, without going um, to Facebook. She's been called into the principals and made f to feel like it's her fault. She's been told to ignore it. She's been told to disregard it. Basically, she's been told to stuff her emotions and get on with life. Can you tell me how many times you've been in and told the principal about it? Like five. Okay, can you tell me what they've done about it? Nothing. And school officials admit they dropped the ball. Obviously, somewhere along the line, it, it fell through the cracks. Um, you know, and, and so we need to review our, our procedures and policies and maybe do a better job of articulating to the parents of, you know, uh, what we're doing. Um, even though we can't be specific, uh, you know, maybe we need to do a better job of getting that communication out there. Because today, two parents. Call her a lesbian, it's gotten physical, she's come home with scratches and bruises. And a couple of kids. I want to feel like I'm wanted in the school, like people like me are dealing with a problem that isn't just happening in Faustin, but across schools everywhere. She said, you know what I want, Mom? I want it to never happen to another kid ever again. In Faustin, Minnesota, Eric Crest, Valley News Live.